Good morning, everyone. This is Shirley from Shirley's World. I'm just sitting. Hi. I thought I'd just take a few minutes because a busy day today. Uh, I'm having um oatmeal. I know it's hot today, but I just felt like oatmeal. And I have some fruit with yogurt over it and coffee. So I thought I'd just uh, talk to y'all. I don't know why I use y'all here. I'm not Southern. <laughs> but uh, I thought I would talk to you while I'm having breakfast because I don't know when I'll get a chance to tape a video today. I'm going over to my son's. Hi, Kipster. Thanks for joining me for breakfast. Uh, I'm going over to my son to see my grandkids. Uh, my son is Carl and his wife's Linda. And uh, Linda's like my daughter. I mean, my daughter and her were best friends, and then my son married her. And uh, they had their children late uh, in their early 40s. And so I have young grandchildren. They're six and eight. Hi, Sokrif. Sokrif? I don't know how you pronounce that, but hi. Thanks for joining, Gipster. <laughs> they have a big, uh, in not in ground, uh, uh, above ground pool. It's huge, and a huge deck around it. So I'll probably take my bathing suit because the kids will want to go in the pool. It's going to be 90 today. Uh, I'm not sure, though, if my sister's going to want to sit down out on the deck, though, for any length of time. So we'll see what happens. It just may be too hot to, to do that. I'm going to eat while I'm talking, so. <laughs> Skype, yeah. Yeah, well, my daughter-in-law is funny about me uh, videoing or broadcasting her children. So I, I don't know if I'll be able to do that or not, but if I can, I will a little bit, little, little tiny glimpses anyway. Um, they swim like fish, which is good. They've learned to swim real young. And um, I don't know if my son will be there right in the beginning or not. He's a golfer and you know, Sundays he golfs well, he golfs a lot more than Sundays, but Sunday's a definite golfing day, and he may get there late, but we're going to go over about 2 o'clock. And this morning, I have to change uh, my chicken's bandage on his foot. What's for breakfast? I just have, even though it's hot out in summer, I have oatmeal. I just felt like having oatmeal today. So I have oatmeal. I always put some brown sugar and butter in my oatmeal. And I have fruit, which is strawberries, bananas, and blueberries with yogurt on top. That's breakfast. And a coffee, of course. Uh, oh, thank you. <laughs> I usually eat a very good breakfast. Breakfast is my favorite meal of the day. I never go without breakfast. Hi. Yes, coffee. I have to have my coffee in the morning. Or all day, actually. I have uh, um, a Keurig, so it's easy for me just to have a nice cup of coffee any time during the day. And uh, where are you from, Kipster? I'm from, this is, I'm from Northeast Ohio in a little town called Medina. It's south of Cleveland. Boise. Oh my, you're far. Yes, I know. Boise, Idaho. Um, I have never been to Boise. I've never been to Idaho. The furthest west I've been is, uh, let's see. Well, the furthest west was probably Nevada, Nevada, because, but we just flew into Las Vegas. That doesn't really count 
to see the state. But I've been in Colorado because we used to ski. So we used to ski in Colorado. Long time ago, that was. Yeah, kind of close. Idaho. My my um, husband would go to um, the Dakotas. I think it was South Dakota. I'm not sure which Dakota. But my first uh, pointer dog, I have English pointers. My first pointer was a really good hunter. He was a um, L. Hugh pointer. And that's a breed, uh, breeder of dogs. And they, he was a really good hunter. He did well in uh, uh, field trials, too. So he took him two or three times out to uh, the Dakotas, where there's still pheasant, you know, wild pheasant. Yeah, I love animals, too. They are my life. I have rescued pointers. <clears throat> I rescue for the Pointer Rescue Organization. And so I have two right now, a male and female. Uh, the male is Dexter. He's on the couch, of course. And Spirit is right here next to me because she's a real foodie. Uh, Spirit, I just got, I haven't had her a year yet. They're both around six or seven. <laughs> Dexter, they've eaten, see, already. He's already taking his morning nap. Hey, Spirit, who said hello to you? Spirit was starved when they found her. They found her in Wyoming. Uh, she had been used for breeding, and they, they just dumped her out when they were done, what, done with her. I'm sure it was hunters. She probably, she's not a good hunter. Uh, she'll sit in right with my chickens. I mean, she's not birdie at all. So, yeah, it's terrible what people do to dogs. It just upsets me so much. Yes, they have their permanent home because I fostered them for a short time. And, of course, I'm a foster failure. I always adopt <laughs> my fosters. I even adopted a St. Bernard once. He was an old St. Bernard with he was heartworm positive. He had to go through heartworm treatment. And uh, he was already eight. That's old for a St. Bernard. And I, uh, so I adopted him. And uh, his name was Monk, the St. Bernard. He was a precious thing, yes. He was uh, just the gentlest soul ever. And I don't know why people don't adopt English pointers more. I think, thank you for following me. I think uh, people think English pointers because they hunt and they they run a lot when they're hunting. They are far running dogs. They, um, in the house, they are like couch potatoes. I mean, and they're very much people dogs. And, uh, they're very nice to get. I have an acre, one square acre here, that's fenced in with an invisible fence. So they get to run on an acre, and uh, I don't get to walk them very often. We have no sidewalks. I live in the country. Uh, once in a while, I have a girl comes and walks them for me, but not regularly. Uh, thanks for joining. And... But they do get to run. They like to be outside. Dexter definitely is birdie, though, and did get one of my chickens once. So I have to really watch. The dogs have to be in if the chickens are out, that's for sure. Is it glitchy today? Did you get knocked off? Uh, I can't tell from here if it is or not, if it's freezing or not. Excuse me, I have to eat this while it's hot or it'll get like paste. <laughs> um, so that's my plans. Oh, opera. <laughs> yeah, I can't even touch my phone because I'm always touching something that uh, turns it off or something. Yeah. Um, so I'm going, we'll be over at my son 
aunt's house with my grandkids all afternoon. My daughter's also coming, so it'll be the whole family. And my sister wants to see the kids while she's here visiting. And what else? Oh, I have to, I said, I have to change my chicken's bandage on her foot. She has an abscess. I have to soak it in Epsom salts again and rebandage it before we go. So, but that's not hard to do since my sister's here. Thank you very much. Thanks for, for the blessing. Uh, I, my sister helps me. We're both nurses. So it's like uh, I'm doing a nursey thing on my chicken's foot and she's my assistant nurse and handing me things. It makes it so much easier when you have a ch holding a chicken on your lap. You know, you turn them over on their back and then they sort of get quieter. And if you put a little cloth over their head, they get real calm. So that's what you have to do to, to uh, do anything to your chicken. If something's wrong with it, or even if you're examining it, you know, you have to... My mom and... Oh, really? They're nurses, too? Yeah. My, I'm retired. We're both retired now. Yeah. I was in... Most of my career, I was a uh, nurse in the emergency room. My sister was a nurse in the maternity ward, and then she went into rehab. Yeah, I retired early because I sort of got burned out. Uh, after 20 years in the ER. Well, <laughs> I wasn't so dedicated because I retired early in my my 40s. Yeah. It was, yeah, the ER was sort of fun. I have great stories that I'm getting together little stories about from the ER. There's some, could be, because I talked to a couple nurses on here and one is an ER nurse. And she's asking me, please put your stories together, because some are hum, some are funny, some are gross, some are uh, just you you wouldn't believe them. So, yeah. You know, my mother always wanted to be a nurse, but back in her day, nursing was not a not a uh, profession that was looked up on. I don't know why. Now, my mother died at 92, and I'm 73, so it was quite a ways back when she would have picked a, profess a profession. Uh, she was a secretary uh, before she met my father. And, of course, back then, when you got married, nurses saved lives. Well, yes, sometimes. <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you a secret. Nurses save doctors a lot, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Yes, well, we try. When I got, uh, that's why I stopped nursing. I got sort of burnt out, and when I decided, when I decided I probably wouldn't want me taking care of me, it was time to quit. <laughs> so but my husband was a policeman. He had a a good job. And we moved to the country and I wanted to do things out here in my gardens. So my my son works in construction and uh, my daughter in law works for the agriculture department. And my daughter's a photographer. You do? Yeah. What's your uh, history? I love talking to people over breakfast. Birds of a feather, yeah. <laughs> we find each other somehow on this big periscope thing. I found that to be true even more than Facebook or any other place. Uh, I, I'm very lax now at going on Facebook. 
since I've been doing the periscoping. Uh, I used to be on fa Facebook constantly. I love it too. I never thought I would be able to do this. And it was, my first few scopes were horrible, of course, like everybody's, and sort of scary. But once I started doing it, it gets really easy and it's just like I'm talking to you across the table. So, yeah, I think it's neat too. And there's there's people I, I uh, follow a lot and uh, I feel like I know them. Even though a few are in England and... But that's some place. I'm English. Actually, my last name, my last name now is Corwin, Shirley Corwin. That was my husband's name, of course. But now uh, my maiden name was Wickersham. Yes, you certainly will. I'll follow you as soon as uh, I watch the replay and can push your uh, button and uh, follow you. Uh, I've always wanted to go to England because I'm English and actually secretly I always wanted to have an English accent isn't that dumb but I uh, I even went online I went online on YouTube you know you can learn to do anything on YouTube I learned to crochet on YouTube I never knew how to crochet but anyway, I went on YouTube, and you can learn different dialects, different uh, accents on YouTube. I haven't, I haven't really used it much. I've learned a few things about the English, British accent, but I'm sort of afraid to, to try it out amongst people for fear I sound, you know, kind of, and it's not right, and I sound strange. So I have to practice a lot more before I'll try it. But there's certain grammar rules that make you sound British. So, yeah. Well, actors, you know, actors and actresses, they learned all they learn all different uh, accents. Uh, so, I'm sure it's possible. And they they probably don't have uh, long to uh, learn them either. I've been trying this for a year. And I'm still chicken to try it out in public. But I'll keep trying. It's just one of those um, bucket things, you know, your bucket list. I have, I have never written down a bucket list, but maybe I should ensure that. There's some things I would love to do that I won't do like I I won't fly anymore so I'll never get to England and but most other things that I want to do I probably could manage to do you might <laughs> we used to fly all the time down to Florida we had a place in Florida on Anna Maria Island on the Gulf side but when my husband died I sold it yeah, that's a good saying. Never deny yourself the potential. Very good. <laughs> uh, we used to go down to Florida a lot. And he, he, my husband liked to fly. He didn't want to take the time to drive. So, uh, of course, a couple times I insisted we drive so that we could see more of the country, you know. So one time we took two weeks yeah, I miss doing things with him all the time. Uh, we took two weeks to get to Florida. And I love to go, I love to, plantations was my big thing. He says we saw every plantation between here and Florida. I'm sure we didn't, but to him it seemed like a lot. But uh, yeah, I liked, I'd like to go in, in the different short trips and travel. If I had somebody to do it with, you know. My close friends, or sort of close friends, are at the barn where my horses are. But they're not people that you would go traveling with. 
my sister you know has her family in Erie Pennsylvania that's where she's visiting from for a couple weeks but she you know she can't go traveling with me and leave her husband by himself so I would even like to do more oh my I'll never be able to pronounce this echo chick I'll just call you echo chick hi thanks for joining <laughs> Uh, I worked a little bit with the uh, Pointer Rescue Transport Team. Your sister's mom are close, yeah. Uh, my sis, my daughter was. We were real close when she. I have two horses, and she had one horse, a Ra an Arabian, who uh, had a terrible accident and died at the. Well, he was 34, actually. That's old for a horse. 45 minutes away. My sister is uh, two hours away in Erie. It's 100 miles. Not too far. But it's still, a, I mean, it's not an afternoon visit, you know. And I have so many animals, I can't just leave them without getting some sort of a pet sitter. And that gets to be very expensive if it's not just overnight. And I have done that, but it is expensive. I got a, a girl that I know well and trust, really trust. I got her to house sit while I went up there for a couple, for up to Erie for a couple days. That was really nice because she lives on a farm. She has horses, she has dogs, she has chickens and uh, that was really nice. I didn't have to worry at all. And but she's gone off to college now. So <laughs> there goes that. Mm. So I'd have to find another. I think it's better to find a house sitter than just to have somebody come in three times a day for your animals. Cuz my dogs, they need somebody here more than just three little visits. And I wouldn't feel, I, I just wouldn't feel at ease, you know. Yes, I'm on Twitter. Mostly it's just the my Twitter things that gets transferred from Periscope to Twitter. I don't, like, go on there and tweet a lot. It's the, it's the Periscope things on Twitter, and I have them saved on Catch, too. But I, when I write on my blog, I put that on Twitter, too. So every time I write on my blog, that goes, a link goes to Twitter. So you can always see my blog. I've been blogging since 2009. So, yeah, you like Twitter. Uh, I didn't understand Twitter at all for a long time. But, yeah, very short and sweet. But I lose what people are saying. I lose the whole connection thing. I didn't quite understand it. That's why I did a lot more on Facebook. But now that I'm doing this, I, and you know, I have friends from Periscope that uh, it's it seems easier now. So I'm doing it more. But I like I like to blog when I have time. I haven't blogged at all. I don't think since my sister's been here because we're doing so much, you know. I had to really take time yesterday and add some more things to my eBay. I sell things on eBay. I make a little extra money doing that, which I need to do. So um, I had to take the afternoon and uh, do that. But today it's a visiting day with my son and my grandkids. I'm just, I wish it wasn't going to be 90. You mark it. What does that mean? You mark it. Is that, what is, what do you mean? What I'm selling on eBay right now is some old silver coins and 
I'm trying uh, baby clothes. <laughs> Are you selling too? I'm selling um, little baby clothes, like infant, up to six, eight, twelve months, like below a year. Oh, you work from home. What do you do? What's your business? Um, I'm just trying to make some extra money because I'm on a budget now. My financial guy put me on a budget. He says, he told me I can't be spending helter skelter like I was or I'm going to run out of money. <laughs> so that scared me. Okay, what, what? <laughs> so I've been really trying to budget. I've written everything down and I'm paid off all my credit cards. That's my Dave Ramsey thing that I did. And I'm spending only cash money, which makes you spend less when you have to actually hand over the cash. So. Z license. Now what is that? What is that? Save lives with Z license. license is it a, a food supplement thing is it um is it what is that I never heard of it I hope it's something for osteoarthritis. Oh, you have a video? Where's your video? I'll watch it. Is that LPL? <laughs> LPL? Send me a link zlicense911.com Let me write that down. zlicense911.com I'll definitely look that up and see what that's about. I can't imagine. Okay, we'll say Z license alert. I have back problems and arthritis. But you webmaster several sites. Oh, okay. Feed to it. Mm -hmm. You know, I've almost had to stop riding my horses because of my back. Mm. I think I will. It must be something to do with that. Well, I will certainly look into this. You had horses growing up. My, I always wanted horses since I was a tiny little girl. My, do, my mother said my first word was sorky, which meant horsey. And I always wanted a pony. I always wanted horses. I took riding lessons when I was real young. Okay, I definitely will look this up. Um... I didn't get a horse till I was 58 years old. My daughter got her first horse and I got my first horse 
and then I got another horse. So I have two. <laughs> so um, I've only been riding for like 13, 14 years. I hurt my back and sort of put a crimp in my riding. A pinto named Gypsy. I have, we love Arabs. I would have all Arabs if it was up to me. However, we, our first horse was named Satire and it was a, a fully equitated show horse that was retired. Uh, and we got that horse at, uh, he, was, he was already 23 or 24 years old. Uh, but we bought him and uh, we had him for 10 years, 10 good years. And then uh, I got a, I got a quarter horse. We're back. My dog usually bark at nothing, but we'll see. Um, I have a quarter horse named Preacher. And he was my, my trail horse. He, I got him, he was I think 12 years old when I got him. And he had been a 4-H horse. So he was, uh, he was very calm and uh, he had all his gates down pat. So he was a good teaching horse for us. And then I um, sort of inherited a very young 18 month old. Uh, Draft Cross. His name is Echo. And my niece had him since he was young. She saw him born. And right away she wanted him. And she just had two little young kids. And she, like a lot of people that don't know about horses, <laughs> they, uh, she thought, oh, my kids and the horse will grow up together and they can ride. Well, that's not how it works, but so once she realized that horses cost a huge amount of money and they were a young family, you know, struggling family, she asked me, they were in Pennsylvania, near Erie, she asked me, please take him, please take him. So I took Echo back to Ohio with me. Let me just check on this, what they're barking at. They probably saw the cats out there, two barn cats. Uh, so we went and got Echo. He was uh, less than 18 months at that time. Brought him back. He wasn't trained or anything. He was halter broke. That was it. And uh, I worked with him on the ground a, a long time. Had him gelded. Worked with him on the ground. And then... I broke him. Well, it didn't take anything to break this horse. Uh, after work, working with him so long, we put a saddle on him and I got on him. He never bucked, never nothing. So it was the easiest horse ever to break. He's such a goofball. He's, uh, he's so curious about everything. I think that's the reason he's so curious of what I was doing on his back he was just like, he just, he didn't think to buck or anything. So he's been a great horse. He's, he's afraid of anything around his legs. So he had a bad experience uh, doing a little jump over a uh, Cavaletti, which is the real Cavalettis are heavy, heavy wood. He got his, his legs mixed up in the Cavaletti and uh, one of the Cavalettis come ar came around and hit him in the leg and put some uh, cuts on his leg and he uh, since then he won't even step over a ground pole and I even had the trainer in my barn work with him for two months and finally she said well he's never gonna be a jumper so let's just not worry about that <laughs> Just do what you want with your horse, so. I mean, I can ride him outside if it's not where there's going to be lots of logs to go over. But anyway, he's funny.
They use him at the barn for a school horse. My horses are boarded at a barn about 15 minutes from here because I only have one square acre. It's not big enough for horses. So if you go on my blog, which is uh, Shirley's World dot blogspot dot com I have a thing here if you can see this Shirley's World dot blogspot dot com uh, you can see I have loads of posts about my horses and videos and all kinds of things about my animals most of my posts are about animals probably <laughs> There now. I'm uh, my horses. Yes, are boarded 15 minutes away from here. It's a really, really nice boarding facility, so I don't have to worry about them at all. I've been in a couple boarding facilities that were not nice, and we got out of there. So, luckily, I found this one. We okay, have one more thing of oatmeal. I can go to my fruit. Oh. This link or your link? This is mine to my uh, blog. If you can screenshot it. <clears throat> And yes, um, say your link again. Okay, I put it up. Did you see it? <clears throat> there you go. Uh, Zlicense911.com <clears throat> Tell me if you didn't get it, I'll hold it up again. Okay, thank you. Thanks, yeah, come and visit. Leave me a comment so I know you've been there. <laughs> my sister, oh, thank you. My sister uh, is still sleeping. She reads at night um, till late. Like she reads till like three in the morning. And then she sleeps in till about this time. She should be coming down. We used to get eggs. Um, I get eggs for my, my girls. Give me eggs. Right now they're starting to molt though. So I won't be getting many eggs for a month or so. But they, uh, they don't, they stop laying when they molt their feathers. Yes, my blog is huge. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, I've been doing it a long time. For for 73, I'm 73. I'm kind of uh, techie. I've had a computer. My first computer was an Atari. You probably never heard of those. <clears throat> but very K-O-L. What, I don't know what that means. And I had the very first Mac when they came out. They were this big. And black and white. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh. I don't know. There are days I'm not so cool. Um. Yeah, I had the very first Mac, Macintosh. When they first came out, and I've had one ever since. You remember it, Tari? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was my first computer. But, yeah, I'm a... I've had an Apple products ever since. I've never deviated at all. So I've had the Macintosh every time they upgraded. Uh, well, not every time. I've, about every five, six, seven years, I get a new com new Macintosh. I have a nice, great big one now, my desktop. 
of an iPhone and an iPad. But I'll never get the iWatch. I think that's kind of unnecessary. <laughs> uh, everybody kept saying, are you going to get the iWatch? No. Mm -hmm. uh, at the bottom of a post, you'll see where it says comments. And just press on comments and it'll bring up a little screen you can write in. At the end, you know, each post has a, you can comment on each different post because they're all about different things. So, yeah, along the right hand sidebar, I guess you're seeing it this way. I'm along the right hand sidebar is links to different things. It's links to Periscope and Twitter and links to my uh, Pinterest, links to my YouTube videos, if you want to see those, and uh, different links. And then as you go down the right side, it says labels, and that's all the different uh, categories. Like if you wanted to see something about recipes or cooking or baking, you'd click on that. And then all the, all the uh, posts on that subject would come up. Or uh, horses, all the posts on that. You know, you probably know how to do that. But uh, that, that house that shows on the top header, that's my farmhouse. That's my house and my house was built in 1850 so it's an old farmhouse that's been redone uh, you must have got knocked off again welcome back <laughs> welcome back I was saying my farmhouse is um, on the header on my my bog was uh, built in 1850, so this house is 160 years old. Is that right? Yeah, around that. I love old houses. Yeah. I mean, it's been redone. I have a brand new kitchen. It's my kitchen was gutted along with my dining room. And I had that all redone like four years ago. But I have the original floors in the oldest part of the house. Big wide plank flooring. One of these uh, periscopes, I'll do a house tour. But first I have to clean my house up. <laughs> I have so much clutter, you wouldn't believe See, I shouldn't ever have to buy anything to put on eBay. I could just go around my house, but I've tried to do that in the past, and I'll pick up something, and I'll just, I don't know, some things you just can't part with. <laughs> they, they hold memories. But, or you think you're going to need it, you know. But that's ridiculous, really. I should just start selling things on eBay. Because God knows when I go, my kids will just have a big sale. <laughs> Still can't find a place to comment. <clears throat> I wish I had my yeah, I have my iPad. <clears throat> I'll bring it up here to show you. I'll try to show here on a 
own. All right, I'm going to put the other camera on if I don't turn you off here. I'm going to turn the sound on. I'm so you can see this. All right, this is the header. Oh, the header to my, I guess it's the header to Twitter that has my house on it. This is the header to my my blog. See, and if if you read this post, this is this one was from July. This this is an old one. I haven't been on on my iPad. But this is the post here. And if you go down to the bottom of the post where it says it says here, where, where it says no comments and a little pencil, just, yeah.